Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are at the Florida RV Super Show, and the video review that you're about to watch is a segment of a longer stream that we did. So it's not going to be as detailed as our normal long form content, but we hope you enjoy. Let's look at this one right here. This might be a bunk, all right? So, yeah, it is. This is the bunkhouse. This is the 2301 BHS, all right? And there's the price at 37. There's your floor plan. And again, we will go inside here in just a second. We do have front storage in this one, right? Decent storage, guys. That is a very big storage area. It is pretty large, okay? yeah. You got an awning that covers about, uh, oh, I don't know, about 80% of this entire side, which is great. You know, this reminds me a lot of the setup of ours from the outside, the doors towards the back. Mm -hmm. Right. Looks like the kitchen's here, front bedroom. Yeah. Yep. Double mm -hmm. axle. You got an outdoor kitchen right here, which is great. Um, this has got Asdell siding on it. Mm -hmm. You got a three-year structural warranty, Comfort Tech Pack, Explore Pack. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Love the Asdell side. In the back, you see there's a ladder already pre-mounted, so you can get up to the roof. Uh, your your spare tire is mounted on the back, and this is locked, so we'll show it to you from the inside. Okay. Um, it's a little tight down here on the side, so we can't get down there without, you know, we could probably scooch down there, Lisa, right? Yeah, we can scooch. All right. You do have electric stabilization jack, so you just press a button. Here's all your connection points, your water, your power, satellite, outdoor shower, sewer, all right there. So let's see if, you know what? I, I don't want to do that. Let's walk around to the front here. All That's right. just a little bit too tight. So we'll walk around to the front because I want you to see the weight on this one. Um, it is 29 feet nine inches so for those who are looking for something around 30 feet this might be a good one for you the weight on this one gross vehicle weight 8,800 pounds with a 2,056 pound carrying capacity so empty um, it's about 6,600 pounds okay and here's the other side of your storage right there and here is the controls for your electric stabilization so let's go ahead and go inside oh two 30 pound protein panks already on board you got your Lippert solid step too okay so right when you come in there's a door right here a nice sort of walk-in closet so you can use this for all kinds of things hanging jackets for um, oh geez boots and shoes and food pantry in the back there with the shelves all kind of stuff Right across from the door, when you come in, is your sofa. It's, it pulls out to become a bed, and uh, it is that fabric-y type material. You do have some end tables left and right to put your drinks if you're drinking while you're watching TV. Some outlets and uh, USB ports. One regular USB and one uh, USB uh, uh, C in here, which is great. Directly across from us is the TV. Great spot for the TV. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed from us just walking around, but what is missing in this model is a dedicated dinette. So somewhere in here must be a table that you would be able to fold out and put right here. I would okay? agree. So when you're not using it, you can fold it and put it away. And when you are using it, uh, you can have it out. What I do like about that is you can actually put it outside. So if you're using the outdoor kitchen, you have a table out there. You do have some storage here underneath, obviously, as well as up top. Okay, and right next to here is the kitchen. Yes, so we have a nice little corner kitchen. Um, we do have a three burner stove. Nice. Um, there is not an oven in this unit. We have a storage drawer. Pots and pans um, down here. Pots and pans, there is your access panel there. We do have three pull out drawers here. And underneath the sink, we have some decent space. Yeah, and that okay. goes all the way to the back, guys. It does. All the way to the back. The sink is a single basin sink. Single basin, nice tall faucet. Nice tall faucet. I like the, the um, countertop, yeah, the backsplash. Yeah, it, it looks I'm like it is. I'm not solid surface. It's, um, it's just one piece is what I meant to say. Yes, single piece. but I like that it's it's all around the It's sort of a marbly look, too. Yeah, nice. it is, exactly. Um, overhead, we've got our Furion microwave. Um, we do have storage. And this that goes, goes all the way back to that corner. And we have and some more storage. And you can get here. access to that corner from this side as well. Yeah. So at least you can use all that space. Absolutely. Now behind me is the refrigerator. Nice. Right. And, and this a is a 12 volt. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And we have some storage. And actually, I think that would be the food pantry. I think I would use that as a food pantry. I would agree. There. And because it's kind of narrow, I wouldn't worry about needing extra support in there um, because it, it just, there's support here and support here. So you would be just fine with putting heavy stuff in there. All right. So in the back, you've got your bunkhouse and that's where that storage door is. I believe this folds up. Yes. In the, in the bed is in my way, but this folds all the way up vertically. Okay. And so if you want to take bikes with you or I bet if you turned a kayak on its side, you could get a kayak in here. It would, it, it would end right here. It would have to. Yeah. yeah. It would have to end right there at the TV. Yep. But there's ladders, sort of the ladder is built in right here. Mm -hmm. So you can have uh, steps to get up to the top bunk, which by the way, holds 300 pounds. There's a curtain here, so you can have privacy. Same thing on the bottom, there's a curtain here, all right? It's, it, I think it's the, the same size bunks as we have. Very nice. Okay? Okay. Then of course, next to it is your bathroom. So of course, you know what time it is, right? It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're just new to joining the stream, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference as you see me sitting on these toilets. And at my height, as you can see, there's plenty of uh, leg room down here, right? It's a little tight, but it's, it's, you know, I'm not bumping anything, so at my height, it's okay. Right across from me, again, is a, a corner sink with a little extension, so you have a, a little more shelf space up top to keep things, right? And then underneath, you have some storage down there as well. Oh, easy. Easy, Mr. Gimbal. I know. Good morning, everybody. If you're new to the stream, let us know where you're from, right? From a height standpoint, plenty of room for the tall people to see yourself in there. So let's climb in the shower. This looks to be like a 30 by 36. And that skylight being right in the middle, again, I'm really not limited to front and back too bad. Um, I can't get any further back than this, but I'm, I'm pretty much, if you see my feet down here, Lisa, I'm pretty much at the back of the, the shower anyway, so it's not bad, okay? Um, as far as height go, there's four fingers above my head before I'm touching. So again, six, seven-ish uh, max in the shower. So let's go to the front, look at the bedroom. And Bob wanted to know if we did the knock test. <laughs> um, we did. We actually didn't do the knock test, Bob, only because this cabinet is not very wide. And um, Lisa, if you can get, just get down there. See, there's a piece of wood right here and then another piece of wood right there. And so because this is very narrow, this wood and this wood is supporting the shelf very nicely, as well as there's a piece of wood up here in the front. So this is not going to bow on you, okay? If it was wider, they definitely would want to put an extra support in there. But with a cabinet this narrow, um, you're not going to have a problem at all. And then into the front, all right? So let's measure this. Um, this looks to be like a residential queen, but let's, let's confirm. Yep, we are 60. Oh, uh, you could do 60 by 80, but I think it's 60 by 78, but you can do a residential queen in here. Yeah, there's enough there's room enough for that, and that two extra inches isn't going to need the support at your feet, so yep. that should be fine. And, and just so you can see, I mean, if it was the full 80, my feet would be really completely on, as opposed to they're just hanging off just a little bit. There's obviously some sort of nightstands left and right. There's power and USB on both sides. What is also kind of neat, Lisa, if you want to look onto this side, there's like a little cubby on either side. And so if you're a CPAP user, you could stick that up there and oh, still yeah. have plenty of space down here for other things that you might want to have out in your bedroom. There is a little TV up in the corner. We've got a big TV in, in our bedroom, but you know, I'm spoiled. All right, right behind Lisa is, is a cabinet for hanging clothes. A little bar up there, okay. Um, where we were before, there's a little drawer here so you can keep some stuff there as well. Up above, there's a, a cubby. There's no doors. I personally prefer the doors because when you're bouncing down the street, you know, stuff will bounce out of here. Um, you know, this would actually be considered a price point type uh, um, travel trailer. And so something's got to give. And in this case, it's the doors. All right. So hopefully you like this model. All right. Again, we'll go back outside. This is the, the model number 2301BHS.